Bernoulli's principle, in simple terms, states that as the speed of a fluid like air increases, its pressure decreases. In cricket, this principle plays a key role in explaining the swing of a cricket ball. Here's how it works. The basics? When a cricket ball moves through the air, it disrupts the airflow around it, and it can be either laminar smooth or turbulent chaotic. If one side of the ball experiences faster airflow than the other, that side will have lower air pressure. The difference in pressure between the two sides creates a force that pushes the ball towards the lower pressure side. How it applies in cricket. Swing bowling. Bowlers use the seam of the cricket ball to create a difference in airflow. By angling the seam, they can cause the air to flow faster over one side of the ball than the other. This difference in airflow results in a pressure difference, causing the ball to swing or move sideways in the air. Spin bowling and the Magnus effect. When a bowler spins the ball, it creates a similar effect. The spinning motion causes the air to move faster on one side of the ball and slower on the other. This effect is also known as the Magnus effect, which is explained by Bernoulli's principle. This difference in air speed and therefore air pressure causes the ball to deviate from its normal trajectory. In essence, Bernoulli's principle helps to explain why a cricket ball doesn't always travel in a straight line. The manipulation of airflow by bowlers through seam position or spin creates pressure differences that cause the ball to move in unexpected ways.